Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the D-Rich Show, where we talk anything and everything crypto. Now, here's your host, D-Rich. Hey everybody, welcome back to the D-Rich Show. This is D-Rich and today is June 14th, 2021. Happy Monday, folks. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend and you were able to do something fun, new and exciting. And again, I hope that this video finds you in great spirits, good health and good energy. And um, I just want to make sure that you guys are acknowledged. Um, all of the new subscribers that have come on board, um, I appreciate you all. And I want to make sure that those who have been here um, thank you as well. So again, we're um, looking forward to a, another great week of uh, videos. And we do have today in store um, that was uh, handed down to me um, about a little bit over a week ago um, from Green K219. Today we're going to be talking about the Legacy Network, um, some other things that um, are Zenfin associated or XDC associated. So I want to make sure that uh, Green K get some love today on the video as far as you know presenting this idea as far as that network is concerned and again I want to make sure that we also give credit to the culprit who acknowledged um, the um, fact that I was would not have been surprised if Zenfin had moved onto the flare network and as we see um, that did happen um, before we um, got to the weekend so anyway folks I want to make sure that we um, hit the like button, hit that thumbs up, the rumble button, wherever you may um, be listening to me at. If you're new to the channel and you like what you hear by the end of the video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button um, so we can grow the channel, so we can get more feedback, more information out um, that has to do with ideas, not only from myself, but from others. So anyway, let's get into the coin market cap right now. Bitcoin's dominance is at 43.6%, while Ethereum is at 17.3%. And we got a total global market cap of 1.74 trillion. So, guys, we are moving back up closer to the two uh, trillion dollar market cap. So, um, it looks like if we could get some more momentum, uh, we'll see better price appreciation. As we see, Bitcoin has now crossed over forty thousand, forty thousand ninety four dollars eighty two cents, up eight percent in the last twenty four hours. Still sitting at the lead spot, but no worries. We got Ethereum vastly, uh, fastly approaching to um, $1,581.60 there. And then you got uh, Binance Coin at number four, $371.27. And Cardano is at $1.57. And what we see here, folks, we see this like line here straight down with some of these assets, um, even with uh, USDC, even with XRP and um, other coins below, but we got Dogecoin at 33 cents, so it's holding steady. I'm um, above 30 cents there, and we got XRP at 90 cents, almost 91 cents. So again, if you are in the um, accumulation phase, dollar cost averaging, um, here's a great buying opportunity. And in some places, I believe it went down to 27 cents here, um, if I'm not mistaken. But I wasn't able to catch it. If those folks were able to, good for them. I'm happy for them. But again, probably more than likely they did it for some people that were coming heavy handed um, into the market. So anyway, we see uh, USDC trying to push up closer to the $24 billion market cap. And Polkadot is at $23.22, rounding out number 9. And 10 is $23.84 for Uniswap. So anyway, folks, we will take a little peek at the market as it turns green looking good as far as some upward momentum and again you have Solana look at that dip there and then you had some other ones do the same thing if you go down to the market mostly a lot of stable coins it looks like okay even Tron there somebody wanted to get and buy all of it up okay you got some Ave people wanted to buy that up I don't know if that's like a signal or some something for as far as um, it being you know a legit uh, cryptocurrency not saying that any of them are not um, I do believe um, a great percent of them are um, but you know when you got folks trying to go buy it up I would imagine um, that's what they're trying to do 
And then again, you got Algorander at $1.06. Um, since last week's news, joining the Flare network as the F asset. Okay. And then you could, you know, scroll down and look at the market for yourself and see if there's any buying opportunities. Um, I don't like to buy in the green necessarily, um, but if you could catch momentum and try to, you know, take some profit, you know, off the top if you're into trading, um, I, I highly encourage you to um, trade and get in, get out, make some money, put some money to the side. So anyway, folks, again, this is coming from Green, K219. He presented Legacy Network to me. So we're going to go over the Legacy Network and see what it's all about and see if we can actually connect some dots to some other cryptocurrencies, um, especially XDC. Um, charging, um, charging LGCY Networks was the Le Legacy Networks mainnet supernova. Legacy Network is a layer one proof of stake decentralized network supernova. Supernova mainnet handles 10,000 transactions per second at an average cost of 0 0.1 per transaction. So this is supernova charging, whatever that might mean. Okay, it looks kind of full to me. And these are some of the features. Um, Legacy Network is a DPoS open source blockchain protocol with industry leading transaction speed and flexible utility running on uh, the Libertas pr protocol, the network aims to be the most decentralized dApp blockchain in the world, bringing true decentralization with the DPoS by implementing the Libertas protocol to the governing body's system of governance and by splitting up the 27 GBs into three branches, limiting the power of each and introducing terms to the government system with no single large token holder will be able to gain an unbalanced amount of power so folks you want to click here you can go ahead and read the white paper i um, highly recommend that you do um, so that we could understand it together i'm going to be reading over it a little bit more today so that if there's not another time we need to touch more bases on it then we also have more information um, at our disposal that we've accumulated um, for our knowledge so anyway the mainnet is in the last phase of a testing and readily industry leading network with high transaction speed and flexible utility. And along with mainnet comes a block explorer and a decentralized exchange and automated market maker where D apps can also launch and flourish and legacy's block explorer allows you to explore and search the legacy blockchain for transactions, addresses, tokens, prices, and other activities taking place on legacy and a leading blockchain explorer search api and an analytics platform for legacy which is a decentralized smart contracts platform okay and then also you got uh, the myriad dex is an automated liquidity provider that is designed to make it easy to exchange legacy network lrc 20 tokens and there is no order book or central facilitator on myriad dex and instead the tokens are exchanged through liquidity pools that are defined by smart contracts. And then you got the legacy and USDL powering the network, which uh, this network started as a ERC-20 token um, to be readily available. And on the Supernova mainnet launch, legacy will move towards its own blockchain, which is the LRC-20, which is a bridge between uh, Ethereum and will remain open for multi-chain purposes, pretty much interoperability and the same accounts for USDSL. And you could click there for some tokenomics, folks, um, if uh, you want to read more about it. And right now, um, we could go over to the legacy on the coin market cap. Um, but before I do, um, you can most definitely uh, click over here, get a little bit more information. You got pre-staking, tokenomics, USDSL, USDL. Okay, and then you got the medium there for, for you to follow them on that network okay um, and then here we got the legacy network and folks if you look at the price tag on that um, we're looking at three tenths of a penny so it's a great um, accumulate later um, so the more you have obviously um, the more your return will be um, you know I'm going to uh, look into it as far as adding it to the portfolio haven't done so yet but now that I know where um, we can actually uh, get it from we could get it from 
either Biloxi, Beaky, Hotbit, which is a platform that I do hold uh, or do have. And then you can do the Uniswap and then you can find others listed on our crypto exchanges page. So if you're looking for it, um, you know, looks like a pretty good project that I'm going to um, most definitely take a look into and add to the portfolio. So anyway, this is coming from Pendulum Finance, and this is also um, something that was thrown my way. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's kind of funny when you start looking up these things, other things that are associated uh, with it. You know, I guess, you know, that's the trackers that they have on our phones or, you know, our networks where you look up something and it all, of, all of a sudden starts appearing um, all over the place. So anyway, Pendulum.Finance which is on the legacy network. Okay, we just talk about the legacy network. Okay, cost-effective and efficient. Pendulum Finance is bringing DeFi to legacy network by utilizing the Myriadex legacy decentralized exchange and automated market maker liquidity pools to bring yield farming through Pendulum Finance. And the goal of Pendulum is to provide a fast, efficient, and cost-effective protocol that enables our community to earn rewards each block uh, for staking their PLP tokens, which is the um, Pendulum liquidity tokens in the Pendulum farming portal. The Pendulum protocol is powered by uh, the spin token and will initially launch with yield farming functionality, but the team will publish a forward roadmap to further diversify the offering into a broader range of DeFi services and the Pendulum Finance will also incentivize liquidity pairs by offering liquidity providers the opportunity to stake their PLP tokens in our farms to earn attractive yields while also bene benefiting from the speed and cost effectiveness of the legacy LGCY. Okay, helping yielding and rebase um, an ecosystem for legacy D apps to flourish and enabling your farming by deep liquidity and automatic yield farming protocol initially spent is built on top of liquidity pools of myriad decks to provide LP rewards and spend and as we expand pendulum finance it aims to roll out more DeFi features and such as a lottery and lending rebate rebase is scheduled to be released quickly in the form of spend token which is pegged to legacy price and more details will follow. So you got liquidity pools, yield farming, rebase. I mean, it looks pretty d decent to me. And you can also get the latest and the greatest news from Twitter, Telegram, and Medium. And here's a little sneak peek. You got Pendulum Finance. You got the pin pool, um, things like that. We talked about the USDL legacy. Um, so I'm gonna look into this PND a little bit more um, so that I can have a little bit more information regarding uh, that. So you got farms and staking, your lottery winnings, um, etc. So um, it looks like it's a very good project. And then again, you can go ahead and look at this, the Myriad X, the Medium, and things like that. Okay. So let's click out of that and move forward. And let's go to Twitter real quick. Okay. Pendulum Finance. And the reason why we're here now, okay, you can go to at Pendulum Finance, which is the decentralized finance as intended, cost effective and rapid, DeFi built on legacy network. So we're connecting the dots on that. And then what I wanted to um, point out here is introducing Pendulum Finance Spin. Um, Pendulum Finance is bringing DeFi to the legacy network by utilizing Myriadex on the legacy network, our main at launch. And expect more details and updates to follow in the coming weeks as we get closer to releasing the product so we're going to move a little bit further down here and this has been retweeted by uh, pendulum finance please to have xdc wrapped and launched on pendulum finance in a collaboration with the legacy network and is excited to be a part of the cross-chain DeFi solution so folks we're going to get into the portion of the video talking about xdc um, because XDC is um, very, very um, important to um, add to this whole entire network. And again, we're, we're looking to connect the dots, making sure that we are 
um, on target and we're on pace with all of the information that's coming out. So again, I want to make sure that we um, thank Green uh, for this information to help me, um, guide me towards these uh, different projects. Okay, we're on, we're on task, but yet, you know, those folks out there in the community um, that listen to me, I appreciate you guys leading me to uh, more information to provide to others um, so that we are sure when we do the research and we do the information look up um, that we um, are making sure that we are investing in the right projects. So we are proud to announce that XDC will be the first pool to launch on the pendulum finance and to, to popular demand by both communities. Legacy Network has partnered with the XDC Network Zenfin official to bring more exposure, interoperability, and value to each project. So, folks, what I understand, if I'm understanding this correctly, and um, Green had told me that it was something more like the Flare Network, how um, <clears throat> the ecosystem is being built. Um, so this is um, part of their ecosystem, and just like with any other uh, network. So I'm pretty sure, you know, with Algorand, they'll start having their own ecosystem, just like with Dogecoin or any other um, token, they might have their own ecosystem built built out like xrp you know again i wouldn't be surprised if iota goes to the flare network as well um, so anyway let's move forward and this is coming from satoshi pay okay and this was uh june 6 so um aj had sent this over too um i did see it as well but i want to make sure that he's aware um that we um you know reached the same conclusion about this article and then we both read it, and I want to make sure that you guys read it as well if you haven't already. Satoshi Pay receives R&D grant from Stellar for Pendulum Blockchain. So um, we are excited to announce that we have received a research and development grant from Stellar Development Foundation to start development of the Pendulum Network, a new second layer blockchain that connects Stellar to the wider DeFi ecosystem by adding smart contract support and bridges to the your Ethereum and Polkadot. <clears throat> okay, so Pendulum is moving forward, you know, adding some different projects to the um, net network. So it's awesome to see, um, to uh, read this stuff. Okay, and this was um, June 6th. Okay, connecting Stellar to the decentralized finance ecosystem. Stellar is an open source network for currencies and payments, which makes it possible to easily create, send, and trade digital representations of all form of crypto and fiat currencies, which was launched in 2015. The Stellar Network now processes over 6 million operations daily and is widely used in the payment space for asset tokenization. And on the Stellar Network, businesses and developers benefit from the near instant settlement within five seconds and transaction fees that are fractions of a cent. So you got DeFi, which has emerged in the past year and is positioned to profoundly disrupt traditional finance services like trading, credit, lending, and yield generating accounts. The industry has grown over 20 fold in 2020 alone and reached more than USD 60 billion in total value locked in smart contracts as of May 21st. Okay, so you got the Stellar Development Foundation grant for Pendulum. And you can pretty much uh, go over the rest of it. I'll just read just this portion from Justin Rice, VP of Ecosystem at Stellar Development Foundation, says that Satoshi Pay has a proven track record as a key Stellar Network and ecosystem participant. And we couldn't be more excited that they are exploring an opportunity to connect Stellar to the thriving DeFi ecosystem with its unique tools for compliant connection to traditional banking networks. The Stellar Network is still are well positioned to connect traditional finance with the innovative DeFi space. Pendulum has the potential to build bridges that increase Stellar's interoperability with other networks, which could enable new use cases and help unlock the world's economic potential by making money more fluid, markets more open, and people more empowered. So folks, if you want to be empowered, if you want to have generational wealth, life-changing wealth, we've seen some of the projects that are to be, what they will become. 
all we do ha we have to just uh, use our forethought um, and really believe in what we're doing um, that's the first part is actually believing um, in what you're doing um, sometimes I know that we go down a road of discouragement um, because either price is not moving where we want it to be um, when it comes to investing um, you have to have use all of your faculties in regards to you know being patient persevering through any type of things continuing to do your due diligence with your research with your information um, your fact finding and everything else and making sure uh, you stay on um, the pace stay on the road stay on target okay so right now we got xlm we got pendulum we got the legacy networks now we're going to get into zenfin so if you don't have zenfin in your um portfolio it is highly recommended that you get it while it's cheap it's at five cents right now and you can actually get it on bitru i do have mines on bitru and there's the decent app um i think it is excuse me i will make sure i know what it is it's for the wallet um so i'll make sure i get that right before i leave um the video today but anyway um you got at it's five cents you know at least 10 20 thousand of those should be in your portfolio okay if not more you know i was buying it when it was the six was a zero that eight was a zero those are all zero so um we're looking pretty uh, but there's more room to go with zenfin and then now we're going to get into this from flare finance Flare Finance is pleased to announce our partnership with Zenfin Official. Additionally, Zenfin Network has pledged um, 5 million XDC to the APY cloud for governance and staking. Like, retweet, comment, and follow Zenfin Official for a chance at um, one of $500 prizes and XRP. So, you know, like, I mean, when you are putting XRP as a prize um to win especially when you're talking about xdc it lets you know where you're at so we're in a good position especially with the flare finance build out the ecosystem that they're uh, developing i mean we can't ask for any more um, of a roadmap a blueprint um, to um, copy and paste you know that's all we need to do is just copy and paste what these folks are doing and just follow the right people and you'll be in a good position a greater position than you were before and again, I think these networks will go live um, before too long, quicker than we know. So anyway, this is coming from the newscrypto.com, and it's a little bit more information on the Zenfin network, who have also been booking um, platform. They've been um, set up with the booking platform Travala. Okay, this is about three weeks ago, and we talked about X Lab as well. Um, we also kind of went over this a little bit, but I want to make sure we go over it again. Just to let you know um, where we're at when it comes to travel. If you like to travel, things like that, you might as well just let your travel pay for itself. If you get some of these cryptocurrencies, that will allow you to do so. Zenfin Network partner with booking platform Travala.com. The partnership allows XDC holders to book over 2.2 million hotels and homes and over 600 airlines and more than 40,000 activities in over 230 countries. And XDC holds the hundredth place on the coin market cap. And let's see if that's true. Where is it? Where's your rank? 101. So they, I mean, it's off base by just a little bit, but no worries. It's still about that in in the top hundred. On May 20th, 2021, a global. Open source hybrid blockchain platform Zenfin partnered with Travala.com, which is a leading cryptocurrency friendly accommodation booking platform. Through this strategic partnership with Travala, XDC payments are encouraged on travel web websites. Billy Adams, Zenfin director of the ecosystem, said partnering with Travala.com gives our community just that an opportunity to use their XDC to see and experience the world. So again, folks, if you like travel, I want to travel to other countries. I want to travel to Europe, 
Spain. I want to travel to all of those countries, Africa, all of those countries. I want to go to Australia. I want to go to wherever I can go. So if I'm able to use my XDC for payment or even my XLAB for payment, again, guess what? We're going to travel because we want those prices to appreciate so that the um, payments pay for travel itself. Moreover, when compared with other travel platforms, the users of Travala.com can save up to uh, 40%. And notably, there are three more than 3 million travel products that will soon be available for XDC coin holders globally. And then Zenfin's native coin XDC supports strategic contracts, two second transaction times, also a green coin TPS speed of over 2,000. So, folks, I mean, the writing is on the wall again. Um, I don't have to do too much more explaining. You can read the rest of the article. Um, I always encourage you to do. And then XTC is listed on some of the top crypto exchanges like WBF Exchange, Bitfinex, KuCoin, BitTrue, and HitBitC Bitcoin. Therefore, Zenfin's partnership with Travala and developments in the XTC blockchain will help in increasing the price of the coin. So eventually, folks, once they turn that switch on, um, XDC is going to boom. Okay, it's, it's done a lot of good numbers. Um, I believe in the recent history, it went up all the way to 12 cents, I believe. Okay, so um, again, I'm a long-term hodler in some of these assets. The ones that I present to you, like XRP, Algorand, IOTA, um, Stellar, and now XDC, part of the ISO 222. Um, those are the ones that I'm holding on for uh, dear life. Um, now, other ones, you know, we can probably trade in and out of whatever. But, you know, this is the foundation. This is the blueprint that I want to follow. So, again, BitFi and XDC Network, Zenfin partner to deploy advanced security capabilities for the institutional XDC blockchain protocol. Okay, this was April 8th, 2021. And the only thing um, I want to point out to you folks is um, this right here. I just want to re read this portion of the article. The XDC protocol is openly permissioned, fully institutionally compliant blockchain protocol that can integrate with financial institutions, legacy systems, seamlessly bridging legacy systems with blockchain capabilities. XDC is ISO 222 compliant with advanced smart contract capability and, and and is fully interoperable with ethereum so folks here you go um that information is there that xdc is iso 222 compliant all right so when you look at that uh picture that i showed you um last couple weeks um all of the assets that are on that picture algorand iota um xrp xlm and XDC are all um, compliant. So once you have a partnership or some sort, um, that those also, I believe, fall under um, compliance. And here's Chainstack. Chainstack set to ensure easy access to XDC, which is the first digital currency built on the public Corda network. Okay, so um, you can look at this real quick. This was in October 20, um, 21, 2020. This is coming from Chainstack.com and then Chainstack and Cordite Society are today announcing a par partnership to make Cordite XDC nodes available to enterprises and innovators of any size through the Chainstack's turkey or turnkey blockchain uh, managed services platform. XDC is a revolutionary finance grade, enterprise ready and regulatory friendly digital currency and the first one to build, be built on the Corda network public blockchain. And today's announcement quickly follows yesterday's launch of the XDC by the Cordite Society, LTD, a cooperative society registered in the UK, which leverages the existing UK legal structures for mutual societies to operate a digital currency, providing the first onshore legal structure for decentralized finance. So, folks, you can read a little bit more on that. And I just wanted to move forward with... Um, Chainstack, and you could go to their uh, website, chainstack.com, if this thing will ever load. Well, it did. There we go. You got the solution pricing, partners, developers, resources, and we'll go just into a little bit. Reliable Quarta Quorum. 
Bitcoin infrastructure from startups to large enterprises, thousands of businesses of all sizes use chain stack software and APIs to build, run, and scale blockchain applications. Okay, so you got Palantir. Palantir is a new network. I believe it's like going to be like a social media type of network. Um, and um, this is going to be a good stock now that I uh, see it. Um, so if you want to go get Palantir, if you're tra a trader, um, PLTR is their um, ticker. Um, Numio, uh, Koju, uh, Figment Networks, Cobalt, uh, Ypro, Mercury.cash, uh, Moonlet, Aquinas, and um, Soromitsu. You got those. You got deploy, manage, and scale from experimentation to production. Chainstack provides everything you need to build on and scale your blockchain solution. You got enterprise grade security, freedom to choose, optimize for growth, flexibility to deploy anywhere, save time, be agile, reduce cost. And you can also deploy applications on top of any blockchain in minutes. So you got. Um, Ethereum, you got Polygon here. Um, I'm not sure what that is. You got Corda, you got Bitcoin, um, and and such. So um, it looks like this is a good project as well um, because they now support Polygon, as you can see right up here, um, Mainnet, Mainnet, and Mumbai Testnet. So our world class industry and technology partners, you got Quorum, Hyperledger, Tribe, R3 enterprise ethereum alliance and blocks route you got fujitsu chain link oh chain stack is the fastest way to deploy blockchains in multi-cloud and multi-protocol environments and it also empowers fujitsu which is to rapidly build deploy and manage innovative solutions using the blockchain where are they talking about this forbes gardner google yahoo finance and you can also build with this you got quick start you got tools and tutorials and you can see change step in action. Managed blockchain services making it simple to launch and scale decentralized network as well as applications. You can start for free. You can click there for how it works. And then you can also join the chain stack community. Okay. So check it out. Check this website out. Going from legacy to pendulum has allowed me to uh, go down a little bit more of a rabbit hole and look at some of these other things that are connecting uh, those dots for me and then last next we're going to go into this coin called meta coin and that is um, something that was also passed on to me by green as far as you know the whole message that I got meta coin is the first cryptocurrency based on the hyperledger meta coin is a project that focuses on um, expanding the ecosystem um, by solving and improving problems that traditional cryptocurrencies cannot overcome so you got the matter price is at 12 cents there almost 13 cents and this is as of 6 14 uh, 2021 um, earlier today about two hours ago less than two hours ago so um, that's that the feature of metacoin is based on the hyperledger fabric fabric okay the hyperledger is a private blockchain that is central to ibm okay and Linux Foundation Hyperledger is a blockchain solutions developed by global IT companies and investment banks. Thus, it combines greater general purposes and reliability than a blockchain developed by a single individual company. So you got Hyperledger chain code technology, private plus public compatibility of InterD app. And uh, you got also the introduction of blockchain service. Many of today's decentralized blockchain projects have sparked structural and system limitation, creating problems that conflict with real businesses and the birth of MetaCoin. And from the beginning of MetaCoin, we uh, consider technical compatibility and user-friendly business environment for convenience of the system. You also have scalability. You got DApp. And here's their roadmap of where they're going and what they're trying to do. So you got the Hyperledger based DApp Paradise Club release. Then you got the Hyperledger Hyperledger based DApp play, um, Playpang release. Then you got Auto DAC open with Drive Token MRC three hundred protocol, 
Um, and then you also have play bits open with gaming token MRC 100 protocol. So I'm going to look at all of this stuff to gain a little bit more knowledge of it. And then I can most definitely report back to you accurately um, in regards to uh, MetaCoin. So um, it looks like a really, really good project. Um, so I want to make sure that we are looking into it. Um, I think that um, with it being part of the Hyperledger fabric with IBM there, um, we're also talking about maybe some connection of some sort. I haven't connected it yet um, with uh, Zenfin. So uh, maybe, again, this is part of that network build out. Um, but again, I want to make sure that I go um, read a little bit more before um, I make that um, statement or whatnot, because I want to make sure that I'm telling an um, accurate um, depiction of what we're connecting the dots to. So you got Bittrex, Global, Liquid, IOV, Pantheon, Zeus Protocol, Bytes Mix, and uh, Vestella. And you can also contact them at Metacoin, um, at Metacoin.network if you need to do so. So anyway, folks, we're going to leave it at that. Have you go down that rabbit hole for me if you want to provide some information for me to go over. And if I'm not seeing it, um, then I want to make sure that you guys put it in front of me so I can also uh, report back to you um, with accuracy. Okay, because we want to make sure we're accurate as possible. Um, and then we're going down the road that leads us to um, the best projects to be successful. So anyway, um, last week, Friday, I presented you something from the World Economic Forum, which was, I think, the May um, portion of it, PDF. And this is the um, June 2021 cryptocurrencies, which is a guide to getting started. Global Future Council on Cryptocurrencies. And I want to leave it to you all to read on your own term. I'm going to leave it in the description, but I want to make sure that you read it. Um, I'm going to continue to go over it myself. Um, but there are some things that I do want to make sure that we look at while we are here. So you got the contents, obviously. Um, we're going to got we got the executive summary. You got getting started here. Read a little bit on it. Buying cryptocurrency, making transactions, exploring the blockchain. You got block explorer, pseudonymity and anonymity, privacy, running a node. You got consensus mechanisms and mining. So you want to make sure that you go into a deeper dive, as <laughs> um, as they say there. And then you got um, all of this other stuff that you want to go over. Then you got energy consumption, particle, and then you got programmability, um, which is Ethereum, languages and references, as well as implementations. You got governance, okay? And there's some other things that uh, this is what I wanted to... Um, get to you got um, throughput and scalability all right and again folks scalability is a uh, imperative term with blockchain technology most notably for assessing th uh, throughput throughput approximates uh, the number of transactions that can be processed per second however with many new and innovative blockchain technologies and underlying protocols throughput is just one factor to consider in assessing the overall overall scalability of a network and the following outlines the throughput of various networks and provides resources for learning more about their scalability features so you got algorand cardano cello cello i'll probably go over sometime this week which is another project aj had talked to me about so i don't even know too much about cello um, but we will be um, dipping into that at some point this week you got the XRPL, you got Solana, which we've also talked about. Um, and then we also have the Stellar Network. So those are some ones that are um, in this um, getting started with cryptocurrencies from the World Economic Forum. And again, folks, you want to look at compliance and regulatory considerations as well. And I'll most definitely leave this in the description for you to consume. Um, again, if you have a printer, print it out. You know, get it as like a little packet. If you get those white papers and you are fortunate enough or able enough to print them out, um, then it, it seems like a easier read because it's in your hand um, rather than, you know, sit there and put it um, on your computer screen or on your um, cell phone. Um, it's more like a book, a pamphlet uh, for your consumption. So you can highlight, you can mark the page up, you can go back 
and refer to your notes. Um, and this is what I like to do. And I also encourage you to do notes um, and things like that. So when you need to refer back to them, um, then you know that you don't never have to question yourself because your information is legit, um, it's vetted, and you went down the um, research trail um, on your own. Um, not that I'm giving you information to go down. I just want you to verify it because I could tell you all the things that I think doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. I'm going to tell you the truth, but you know what? To verify the truth, you need to be the first one that is the vetter. You need to be the first one that validates it because then uh, you know what I'm speaking here on the channel is legit. At the end of the day, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please share it on your favorite platforms. I hope that you got something out of it. Um, so again, thank you to the culprit for acknowledging um, that, you know, maybe I was right or it was some sort of prediction about Zenfin going to the Flare Network. I don't like to predict anything. I just like to use um, my thoughts, you know, my four thoughts. Um, I like to project um, as well as speculate so that, you know, if I am right, um, then I know that I'm building confidence in myself, uh, my research and my ability to see um, what I need to see between all of the smoke and mirrors and things like that. And again, I want to make sure that Green is acknowledged, Green K219, about the net legacy network um, leading me to Pendulum um, and other projects that we're going to be looking into um, this entire week. we got a whole slate of stuff that's coming up. So tomorrow we're going to be looking at a new project, um, and we're going to connect some dots there. So we're going to be looking at that. So um, we'll be reaching back to you tomorrow. So anyway, folks, have a great Monday. Again, it's early uh, for me here in California. It's going to be hundreds and the hundreds all week. So you know, at some point in time, you know, we're going to have to get outside, get some fresh air, maybe go to the beach if you're in the states of California. Do something um, that's always, you know, refreshing um, to your body, your spirit, and your energy. Um, whether it's just sitting down at the poolside, sitting outside, getting some fresh breeze, watching the cars roll by. I don't know what it is, but there's multiple things that you do um, to get your mind um, on track to, you know, get your spirits and keep your health um, in good, you know, standing. So anyway, don't want to babble too much. I hope you again enjoyed the videos. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, the rumble button. And again, if you guys are, um, you know, wanting to, I appreciate that you share it on your favorite platforms. Have a great rest of your day Monday. God bless. Take care. And as always, treat everyone with class, dignity, and respect. Bye-bye.